Ahoy, fellas! Where, where, where are we going? We're going over here, aren't we? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. From while I was moving, the word church looked like cryo. And I'm not. It. Oh, that's a side mission. Never mind. We don't need that. Ha. Uh, all right. Right. We're disabling uh, communication disruptors. That's what we're doing. Uh, the military? He's got things you've never heard of in that museum. Yeah, I can't get stuff. Like what? What side is this? No way, ah, I see. First thing you learn about Cobblepot, keep your mouth shut. Come on, there we go. Tell me. We. That's what happened. Anyways, how do I? How do I? Uh, never mind. Hold up. No, I didn't. Sorry. <clears throat> no, uh. -uh. I gotta say, it's a good thing that the smoke makes um, me invisible and untouchable and all that. Anyways, we. I'm gonna talk about Xanth today, just because the it came up in my life. Attached. I'll and need to destroy all three to shut it down. Yeah, I know. Where was the next jamming tower? Jammin'. I am jammin'. Hold on. Aha! This a direction. Wouldn't it be cool if it was visible from here, right? Um, so, a bit remedial if you're an ardent viewer. So, for literally everybody, uh, Xanth... So, uh, geez, there's gonna be a lot of explaining here. There's a lot of explaining to do anytime I mention Xanth. Uh, it... How do I introduce this? So, Total Recall, right? Total Recall was this film that had Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. And, uh, one of the... You know what? I bet I have to do this. One of the, uh, hold on. Well, I don't know what this is about. It's kind of weird that it's like that. I'm honestly surprised that this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Maybe the bat claw? No. Well, back to talking about Xanth, I guess. So, the guy, uh, Total Recall, it's a movie, it has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Uh, the movie is based off of a book. And the guy that wrote the book, that's Piers Anthony. And he also wrote a book series called, um, I guess the book series isn't called Xanth, technically. Um, but, you know, it takes place in Xanth, which is, it's a, like, magical land that takes up the same space as certain peninsulas. It, it, uh, it manifests as a peninsula, right? So in certain points in time, it's, uh, it's New York, not New York. Sometimes it's Florida. Sometimes it's, it's, uh, not Florida, you know? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Oh, damn. Ow. So, yeah. Um, they're very they're very interesting books, in all honesty. I, re I recommend the first couple of trilogies. Did I mention the fact that there's, like, 90 of them? The guy's been writing these books, and he's still writing them. He's, like, 80 years old, and he's been writing this book series since the 70s, and he's still writing them. He's still going. It's kind of amazing, kind of admirable, except for some of the content, of course. So, you know how I said it's a really good book series? I, 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 I'll I, stand by that. Well, okay, maybe I won't stand by that, actually, based on what I'm about to say. I'll stand by that on the caveat that it would make a really good series if they just removed all the child sex. Yeah! He's a really odd guy. <laughs> Um, I'm not 
gonna sit here and really defend Piers Anthony, I guess. Uh, but, like, I just want to see the first... I just want to see the first couple of, uh... Okay, well, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll save him. I'm in here for mail fraud, dude. Anyways. Nah, you can do it. I mean, you don't have any choice. Let me do your favor. I'm gonna hurt you. Hehe. <laughs> You're welcome, pal. Got my uh, Adam West in peril badge, you know. Anyways. Uh, well, this is interesting, isn't it? Sorry. <clears throat> in it. Uh. Hey, guy, you wanna... Oh! Huh. Did I just have to wait? No, never mind, I'm stupid. Okay, now I'm just really confused. Wait, hold on a second. Those are buttons. They're literally buttons. Oh, I see. I see the problem. I was supposed to not do it that way. Wait, hold on. Only one of them is a button, and it's the one that makes it not work. That's weird. Maybe I have to do it this way? No, because I have to be out there. Weird! I'm not going to worry about that at all right now. I'm going to keep talking about the, we have the weird you. and wacky world of the Xanth novels. So, again, it starts out real good. It starts out real, real good. It's like young adult pun-based fantasy. And it takes place in Florida, essentially. And everybody's got some kind of magic they do. There's, like, magical creatures. There's, there's interesting stuff. All that good stuff. And the main character is this guy, and he, he doesn't have any magic, so he just beats the crap out of people. You know, it's basically like Black Clover, sort of, except this guy's like 20. Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, that actually is a lot like Black Clover. I feel like that's, you know, it, it's like the first part of Black Clover. Let's say that. Um, ah, where's the next disruptor signal? Wait, hold on. The signal disruptor has a signal itself that I am tracking. Okay. Oh, you know what? I guess I'm tracking the disruption. Weird. But, yeah. The first two books. The first three books, actually. The first trilogy of books, because it's written in trilogies, sort of. A little bit. At least the first couple trilogies are. Um. Okay, hold on. I am. Um... Yes, I do. What am I missing here? Am I still picking up on this one, even though it's already taken out? Oh. I'm stupid. I don't know how I missed... I... yeah. There we go. Yeah, we one did it, guys. Down. I should look for more. Yeah, I really... I really feel kind of silly about that one. I, uh... Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? You know what? Let's do amplifier. Why not? Um, but yeah, it, I'm sure if Peter and Anthony were, like, a slightly less weird fellow, I would be able to wholeheartedly say that, uh, it's, uh, the exact kind of book series that everybody would enjoy, you know? But instead, like, uh, have I ever talked about, okay, well, I may be outing myself for more than I want to, but at some period of time I tried to watch To Love Rue. Uh, which is, uh, it's, it's an edgy anime, alright? It, it's, it's pretty much, like, titties, alright? I'll admit to that fully, because, uh, this was a long time ago, let's say. And one of the things that I didn't, I don't get about To Love Ru is, what the, what is the audience? Because, the jokes are very infantile, but then they'll, like, show a girl's tits. I'm like, 
uh, is I, I get that Japan's wacky and all, but like, it was like very infantile slapstick, and then boobies. As I guess this is a real father and son anime, you know, it's got something for everybody. <laughs> but Xanth kind of devolves into the same kind of thing, where I'm really wondering what the audience is supposed to be, because like the jokes and the puns get to be really infantile. Uh, and then the characters start boning, and I'm like, okay, I mean, I guess this is still kind of... Yes. Okay, so I guess I... Hmm. Sounds like Penguin's final jammer was activated somewhere underneath Arkham City. Well, that's not very cool. Oh, at least it's literally... <laughs> Okay, cool. Do I have to go into the sewers? Let's just take this guy out, why the heck not? Whee! Your mom. It's the freaking bat! Oh boy, this was a bad idea. A bat idea. No, he's not. Alright. We're doing it, guys. Oh, yeah? Try it, pal. Can I please take do a grind takedown? Thank you. Very nice. We like it. I wonder what happens if you beat up everybody in Arkham City. Uh, probably ejectedly squat, but, you know, it'd be really nice if something happened. Anybody down there? Yeah, of course. Proximity mine. A proximity mine. You know? Can I set it off? No? Alright, that's fine, I guess. Let's just... Let's, let's go find what we're trying to find. And maybe I'll do it stealth mission style. Instead of the way I've been doing it. Which is not stealth at all. Um... But yeah, if anybody's interested in a in a pretty good little uh, kind of funny book series that's like really interesting, I would recommend the first six books of the Xanth series and almost none of the rest of them. Maybe if you're really into it, then the next three, so like the first nine, and I can almost say the first twelve. In fact, book 15 is actually really good, except for the very end, which queues up book 16, which I can't really recommend to anybody. And I'm not going to tell you what it's called, because that's part of why I can't really recommend it to anybody. Um, boy, was that... Yeah. You're Batman! Yeah, just kidding. I'm Batman. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Shut it, pal. Okay. Fun. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Oh my gosh. Bridges. Bridges are Batman's one weakness, I guess. Like, this guy can't fight on a bridge. The slope is just making this not fun. Boink. Oh, come on. I thought you were down. Sheesh. Loser. Yeah, he is. Dying to meet you. Uh, well, anyways, I do have to go down here. Dang. Hey. Well. It is all the crap that strange confiscates go. They must be kidding. Crap. 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 I really should have just. Okay. You don't see nothing, pal. I'm sure glad that I can just kind of tank bullets like nothing, because I'm really good at that. I'm really good at this game as long as I can do that. Um, not very much else. Okay, dang it, I have to go back in, don't I? Please! Ah, oh my gosh, the timing for turning off the freaking... <laughs> the freaking view is, is really weird. Alright, here we go. Let's just get the drop on this guy, right? Wee! 
There we go. Perfect! Uh, but, you know, it's kind of upsetting sometimes when uh, a really... Okay, I say really good. You know what? Actually, I will say really good. It was a really good book series, and it's kind of upsetting that it devolved into, you know, infantile sexuality garbage. Okay, I say infantile sexuality as if it's infants. It's not infants. I'll give him that much, but, you know, I'm not sure uh, how much I can uh, sit here and act like it's terrible. Oh, great, that made a lot of noise, didn't it? Where are the fellas? The heck? What, do I have to, like, fly into this board or something? Shut the heck up, dude. You're like a f what, how do you even see me? Man. Where am I even supposed to go? Eesh. Okay, let's go this direction. Seems to be this direction. Maybe. See, I could really use a bat signal right now. I need a sign. What do I do? Hey. Well. Either way, I th I think I've kind of exhausted um Lost the camera in sector one. Shut the heck up. You're not supposed to say that. I should probably not just be walking around. But, you know, whatever. Oh, these are the landmines. Shut up, pal. Hee <laughs> Losers. Anyways, oh, how's the Cape Crusader gonna get his way out of this one? I guess we're just gonna have to worry about that next time. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or... I... okay. You know, the content of this episode kind of made me think of one dig that I could make, but it's... it's too much for me. Uh, I maybe could have talked more about it, but you know, I'm just not even gonna... I'm not even gonna get into that, you know. It really is... it's so weird. It's a good book series, and then it just... it's not even slow descent, it just like very quickly becomes... <laughs> Some of them aren't bad. I might skip around and see if any of the rest of them are all right. But I'm not overly hopeful. I'd say probably rule of thumb. Uh, skip any where the protagonist is not an adult. Or at least those that are younger than like 16. Maybe. Well, I only say that because of the second, the second trilogy. I don't remember how old the main character was, um, but it was like it was reasonable. I'd say like high school, you know, the kind of stuff where you could maybe get away with like sword and sorcery romance at that age back in the '70s, and it made kind of it kind of made sense. Um, but some of the rest of them, I don't know, I don't know even that, you know, they're really pushing it, man. Piers Anthony is a weird guy. I'd say, the long and short of it, it really does seem to just be, uh... There's like, a whole... I was about to say cavalcade. There's a whole bunch of people, actually. There's a whole community of folks that... Uh, would love to get like a film, maybe some kind of series, and the only thing standing in their way is common decency. And they're, they're, it, it's funny because I, I guess I could count. Okay, uh, hold on. I could kind of count myself among them just a little bit, just in the sense of like, I'll sit here and be like, you know, it's a really interesting book series. Sans the. Uh, Sans the uh, child sex part, you, you know. If we cut that out, it'd be it'd make a great series, you know. It, it, that's kind of where I am. That's where I am with Xanth. That's where a lot of people are with Xanth, hopefully. Except for the sickos that are like, No, what do you mean? I would love to see all of this um, faithfully recreated for mine own eyes. Um, but I don't associate with those people. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to end it there. I think I've ended my career thoroughly enough so yeah let's just leave it there till next time though like comment and subscribe or i huh, i was about to say it again oh geez yeah let's just i'm just gonna end it I'll, I'll let you go this time i won't make any terrible threats goodbye
Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.